Uh. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, as always, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. That will honor to our elders, Apostle Grimerson Jemes, all well in peace and blessings. We'll hopefully, like I came out there pushing, laboring in this in this gospel, the truth all over the earth in righteousness and saving in truth. I'm the brother Bonawal. The brother Karab. So we just two uh, brethren from the gym at Boston linking up uh, to the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Mishai to do a short lesson. You know, Lord satisfying. You know, as, as you can see, we in uh, July, what, 7, 2020, yep. uh, New York Prophecy. And as you can see, uh, 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 ever since the beginning of the year, these prophecies are becoming more and more evident and to the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Mishai. They had a pastor to a hard coin to share to be the, your prophecy, you know, pursuant to Revelation 19 10, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the super prophecy. So, all these things, man, everything is spiritual, man. So many uh, things are happening as we speak, and we know uh, uh, we are living in some beautiful yet dangerous time, man. That's exactly what it is. And a couple of things are happening right now. We have a, 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 a bubonic plagues, a, a suspected bubonic plague. Cases in uh in China, you have uh, 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 uh the state of Texas or, or Georgia, I think, in Georgia, declaring mm -hmm. state for emergency, and mm -hmm. the second wave of the coronavirus is on its way, man. So it's uh man, it's uh we are in some in some uh, like I said, beautiful yet dangerous time, and we know mm -hmm. ultimately before Yahweh uh make his big entrance, we know all this prophecy. They have to become uh they have they have to take place, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, Khan, I want to jump to a quick precept. This is Habakkuk 2, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And, and it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So will Terry wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Um, the visions, the prophecies, man. It is it surely, it shall surely come. It shall not tarry, and that's exactly like what it is. When they no longer are uh, tearing no more, they are being made manifest right in front of your eyes, man. You can't, you can't deny it. You, you, you can't run from it, man. You know that's exactly what it is right now. Because at a, at a, at a time, because the, in the ancient times, you know the prophets of old. They have already desired to see the things that we that we, seen to, that we have that we are seeing today, man. But it was a time because we had to be discontinued from our from our, our heritage. We have to go to slavery. We have to uh, 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 lose our culture, who we are as a nation. But the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai pretty much set set up everything beautifully in time, man. You know. All right, Khan. I got another precept, and this is going into. Let me pull it up on the screen. This is going into Second Ezra fifteen and one. This says, "Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth," said the Lord. And if I may add to this, uh, this uh, pretty much a commitment, you know, to warn you to wash your blood off our hands, because uh, when the, when these things come to pass, you, you you're gonna have an excuse, man. Then shall they know that there was a prophet amongst them. So mm -hmm. you're gonna know, man. You're gonna know these men that are on the corner, on the street corner, all over, all over the world, you know, globally, you North, know, Central, South America, Africa, Europe, you know, you know, uh, uh, different part of uh, of uh, of uh, all over the world, man. So, hey, man, you're going to know that these men, they were indeed the prophets, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Con, verse 2, and it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. They yeah, not they are faithful and true because, you know, we know uh, it's impossible for the Lord Yahweh by Shemeshah to lie. You know, if he says something, guess what? You can bake on it. The Lord's mm -hmm. reputation, his track record, uh, speak for itself, man. That's you right. Know? And it says, and um, fear not the imagination against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Come, so right. your, lack, your, your, your lack of unbelief, there's a consequence, there's a cons there, there are consequences for it, which ultimately gonna lead to your to you being destroyed, man. Your that's unfaithfulness right. gonna cause you to, to be put to death, and that's exactly why. You know, us, you know, the hopefully lack of Yahweh Shim Shai, that's what we want to escape from. You know, we want to receive the sure mis mercy of Yahweh Shim Shai, man. the sure mercy of David. You know, that's it. that's what we're striving for. We, we, we're hoping 
uh, for the mercy of Yahweh Shemeshai when all hell broke loose, you know? Khan, that's why Hosea 4 and 6 said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. All right. And uh, the scripture also says faith cometh by the hear, uh, uh, hearing the word, you know, so that's showing you that you, you have to listen. You have to take heed to what's being said, you know, in order for you to, 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 to know what's going on and for you to have faith, you know. So if you're not hearing what, what the message is, then you're going to get caught blindsided. All right. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump to verse five and then we're going to get into these articles. All right. Mm -hmm. It says, um, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world and the sword. The, I'm going to read it again. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah. Right. And, and these things right now, they are happening at a, at a higher rate, man. Before, you know, you see a, a tension, the rich tension between uh, uh, Jacob and Esau is at, mm -hmm. it's at, an, it's at an all time high, man. Never seen before, man. And that's what it is, man. You know, uh, 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 all right now, Esau is being uh, fully exposed. He's been making bare, man, like all, all his uh, atrocity, the crimes mm -hmm. that he has been committed against our people ever since we brought, was brought over here in America. Is, guess what? Now they, they become apparent. Now they become, they being manifest. Mm -hmm. he, he can no longer hide himself, as you says, you know. That's right. So now we're going to go into the first uh, article we're going to touch mm -hmm. on. This is from RT, RT.com, RT News. All right. And it reads, uh, this was posted July 6, 2020. It says, fatal lightning strike plaguing. All right. They go that key word, plague. Yeah. So, fatal lightning strikes plaguing India claims over 147 lives in 10 days. Situations expected to worsen. All right. And it reads, at least 147 people have been killed by lightning strikes in India's northeastern state of Bihar. Bihar in the past 10 days with already severe monsoon weathers intensifying and exposing farmers to fatal bolts from the blue. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. These are the signs of the, of the, of the, of the time, man. You know, right. in, you know what I'm saying? On, like within 10 days, 147 people have died, man. Mm -hmm. Have been killed. So, uh, you know, and it says it's gonna uh, get worse, man. So, hey, man, it's not time to to play around. You know, it's time for you to pretty much uh, uh, be in 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 uh, in in league with your power, with your God, Yahweh Shemeshai, because the Lord, as you can see clearly, He is uh, pretty much visiting the world which He made, man. And this is not this this these are not coincidence, man. This is all by design, you know. And I got a quick precept just to back you up. This is Isaiah 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the, the flame of devouring fire. All right. So they're showing you that, that they're showing you that the, the Heavenly Father is, is, is visiting the world which he made. All right. By these, by these, uh, by these um, na uh, natural disasters, these events that are taking place, such as earthquakes, thunderstorms. Uh, a hurricane, lightning strikes, uh, dust storms, you know, all these things that's taking place. The Lord is visiting the world because this wickedness exceedingly uh, polluted the whole um, the whole earth, man, you know. Going back into 2nd Ezra 15, that's what the Lord said. I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction, all right? And once, like the brother just said, this is the beginning of all of that, you know. Scripture said all of these are the beginning of sorrows, all right? So it's going to intensify. It's going to get much worse, all right? So, yeah. um... You, you, you want to add anything? No, you, you okay. said it's going to be intensified because as we are closer and closer to the day of the Lord, man, hey, you, you just think these these are uh, calamities, they pretty much going to become normal, man. You're going to see uh, dead bodies, you know, uh, uh, lying in the streets, man. That's, That's what's right. coming. You know, there's no, uh, there's no, no, no good things coming back, coming, uh, there's no such as, no such thing as a, a, a you know, Good, good, good days coming back to America, man. The whole world, matter of fact, the whole That's world, right. matter of fact, is gonna be on, a, on, on, a, gonna be on, a, on, a, pretty much uh, on, on, on calamities, man, destruction. Mm -hmm. That's, That's what's right. gonna take place, you know, uh, pretty soon, you know. That's right. It says, "Warn to them that desire the day of the Lord." You know, mm -hmm. there's darkness and not light. Roughly paraphrasing. But uh, going back to the article, this is, uh, this is the second uh, paragraph. It says, "Authorities were poorly recorded." 
some 26 lightning related deaths last two last thursday followed by 15 on friday and 21 on saturday a a further 40 people have been injured as weather conditions favorable for farming proved to be a deadly double-edged sword for local communities yeah, which ultimately going to lead up to this global uh, famine mm -hmm. right yeah that's right that's exactly what it is Crow up can i get a uh uh ephesian uh, chapter 5, verse 14, Bible Kosha, and read on down. Gotcha. Ephesians 5 and 14, and um, it reads, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall, shall give thee light. Hey, that's what it is, right? Awake, come Yashorala. It's time mm -hmm. for the blacks, Hispanics. And on Native Americans, man, the true Israelites to wake up to know what what's taking place. You see, you see, you see the news. You see mm -hmm. what's taking place all over the earth. These are not by coincidence, man. These are by design. The Lord is going. The Lord Yahweh Shemeshai wants your full attention. Mm -hmm. you, you know that's why you you, you can no longer the NBA's the NFL, you know uh, MLB. They all cancel. Why? Because mm -hmm. the Lord wants your undivided attention. You know He, he wants your full attention. He wants you to know. Whatever happening, what's happening all over the world, you know, he wants he wants you to take notes, man. To, yeah, to pay get attention. Yeah. Pay attention to what's going on. The Lord's That's making right. it vivid in front of your face. That's why you the brother had mentioned earlier that our apostle um Tahar, apostle um Tahar deemed this year 2020 the year of prophecy. All right. And, and what, what you also going to 2020 can be a hindsight for your yeah. vision, all right? So you can mm -hmm. see. All right, and this is something that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, you know, uh, our Lord and Savior, is revealing to the world. So once again, like the brother said, like no one can say that they didn't know that this was coming. No one can say that they caught they was caught off guard. Hence why the scripture just said, uh, awake thou that sleepest. All right. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, get up, arise, you know what I'm saying? Get get back into uh, getting right with your power, you know. That's how you're gonna wake up out of a dead state. All right. So going back to the precept. Yeah, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. That's oh. right. Well, uh, this is Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. It says, um, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yeah, bad timings, you know, death, mm -hmm. destruction, calamities, man. They the days are evil, man. Mm -hmm. and in 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 like we said before, right? Is this is this is only the beginning. You know, it's only gonna get worse. You know, we talk about the. Uh, uh, I watch a, a, a short clips of this devil Bill Gates, pretty much. Uh, he 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 he's pretty much uh, uh, letting you know that the second wave of the coronavirus is, is on his way, man. And this this time it's gonna be for real. It's, this time it's gonna be for real. And, and guess what? Once this uh, once this so shut down the economy, guess what? It's not gonna be open up. You know, it's gonna that's gonna hey man, that's gonna gonna be it. You know. Uh, uh, and just for you saying that, I'm gonna shift this uh this into the next the next video. All right, uh, speaking on the the spike of coronavirus. All right, and this is all this is from allstarhiphop.com, as you know, as you can see. And um, this is gonna go into what's taking place in Florida right now, the coronavirus cases. All right, because like the brother said, man, uh, this is this is this is what they want, man. They're pushing this. You know, it was talking about a second wave before it even manifested. All right. So now look, look what we have here. So I'm going to play the video and we're going to go to it. All right. Just bear with me. Let's get to some breaking news in Florida. New coronavirus cases skyrocketing again today. NBC Sam Brock is live in Miami Beach. Sam, what are these new numbers? 10,000 plus today, Lindsay. Good afternoon. Good to be with you, which takes Florida now to over 200,000 cases of the coronavirus. This weekend, Lindsay, we've seen 21,000. To put that in perspective for you, just a few weeks ago, probably about two, we were between two and 4,000 cases a day. That was alarming. There are many states right now, Lindsay, Nebraska, Nevada, Arkansas, that have seen 21,000 cases since the pandemic started. It is the reason right now this massive surge in the Sunshine State and we're seeing public officials pulling back on some of the reopenings. Over my shoulder right now, this is Miami Beach, one of the most popular, if not the most popular holidays in South Florida. Normally, this would be a tourist boon covered with people 
all kinds of activity going on. It's empty, and with good reason. Concern right now, Lindsay, not just at these aggregate numbers of new cases, but the positivity rate for the state of Florida, which is the number of people tested yesterday, divided by those who tested positive, 17%. In California, they get concerned when they go over 5%, more than triple that here. I spoke with a doctor at Jackson Health. He runs the Trauma and Critical Care Surgery Center there for what is the biggest health care provider in the Miami area. And I asked him, if this surge continues at this level, what's that going to look like? If this continues the way it is, uh, it's going to mean we're going to look like Elmhurst Hospital did in New York. If this continues, the capacity will be strained and uh, people will have trouble getting in for the things that they really need. So that this really has to be brought under control and it hasn't been. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. Hey, you want to say something, Rob? Come on, come on. As you see, they're talking about the spikes of the numbers of the coronavirus. You know, and especially with this reopening of the, the you know, these cities coming up, coming off a of lockdown and going through these phases of reopening. Now they're pushing that these numbers are spiking because people are out, you know, people are, uh, you know, being out more often now after being in the house for so for, for, for weeks. You know what I'm saying? Now they got the opportunity to come out. You've seen a, a spike in numbers. You see people like the, the, the coronavirus numbers going up. But that could be also East Star messing with the, uh, the numbers as well because they, they want to push this agenda. They want to they fulfill the enterprise. They're trying to get everything back on lockdown so they can, so they can execute what, they, what they're setting up to do, you know? Yeah, if I may, I do, right? Because, like, we know ultimately that East Star says, you know, Bell get be, being, being the one in charge, he pretty much says uh, uh, things will not fully get back to normal until everybody get vaccinated. So he saw he wants people to get the vaccine. So the the the, the normal thing to do is pretty much to increase the number to, mm-hmm. to, to the people to pretty much uh, 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 get vaccinated. You know, that's exactly you know we're not like that. The scripture says uh, we are not ignorant of things viruses. So we know how this mm-hmm. job works. You know, we know the plane. You know, like you said, the and uh, whenever you see Esau is behind something, guess what? You best believe. That is uh, 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 is their destruction for you so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. As you can, we've been telling you not to take the vaccine, man. The vaccine's gonna gonna be uh, the the death of of so many of you Israelites, you so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. And that's black like what it is. The devil, they have agenda. They want to pretty much fulfill, uh, you know, the George, the Georgia Geyson to reduce mm-hmm. the population to 500 million, and we know the people. That they want to get rid of our so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. In their eyes, you are undesirable. You, you, you don't you don't meet the requirement to be uh, of to be a fully human being. Even today, in the uh, so-called constitution, mm-hmm. they consider you to be three fifths of a human being. So these devils, they they, they don't they mm-hmm. have they have a, a perpetual hatred for our so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. And it's time for you to realize that. It's time for you to know who your enemy is. You know. That's right. And they're hell bent on. Are holding on to their constitution and, and and what they uh what they have, which is this uh this little bit of power that they have left, you know. See, that's why you have these low tier Edomites. They're fighting. They're going uh crazy, pulling out guns. You know what I'm saying? Acting wild, be trying to uh, hold on to the little bit of, of of what's left of America. All right, because they they don't want they don't want our people uh to 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 to, to be uh, brought up to be built up. You know. Once again, the brother mentioned that our people are still known as three fifths of a man in the Constitution till this day, you know. So showing you, they don't care about us, and the the, the 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 more they can keep it like that is the better for them. All right. But I got a quick precept just mm-hmm. in case you got anything. No, go ahead, bro. Okay. Con, con, this is going into Revelations twelve, and I'm gonna start at um, I should start at uh, just jump to the point. Yeah. Um, Revelation twelve and twelve it says, therefore rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, but because he knoweth that he had but a short time. This is Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power. And hey, the power of the anointed. That's exactly. That's when we're gonna be uh, uh free from the from from the devils. Mm-hmm. When Yahushua comes back, the second that Yahushua gets here, guess what? We 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 good, man. We good. Mm-hmm. But you know, ultimately, uh, we know ultimately that the only the remnant 
gonna going to benefit from the from the coming of Yahweh Shai, the, 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 right. the, the elect, you know. That's right. And it says, uh, and the power of his anointing for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's putting what that's exactly what Esau does in his media. You know, his media is a, a form of com mass communication. Communication. Mm -hmm. That's how he, he pretty much uh, demonizes the so-called black Hispanics and the Americans as a justification to shoot you like a dog in the streets, man. You know, right. he, he, he put all kind of propaganda, uh, uh, false advertisement, pretty much targeting you, so-called black Hispanics and the Americans, because Esau knows that, you know, you are his number one enemy. He knows mm -hmm. that. In order for him to to pretty much to to uh, have his stronghold, to pretty much uh, set his uh, foothold, uh, uh, his power structure on earth, he gotta he gotta uh, get rid of you. So he puts false propaganda, uh, false uh, nar narrative, you know, to paint you so-called black Hispanics and the Americans as the bad guy, the enemy, you know, and as a uh, justification to slaughter you, you know, using our uh, deception, deception, even, yep, con. And this is verse eleven. It says, "And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, and by the word, by the words of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death." Come, yeah. come. Hey, the blood of Yahweh Shai. We already have the victory, man. You know, not right. we of the hopefully leg. You know, we already have the hit or the victory. All we have to do is endure. You know, endure the 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 the, the, the movie. You know, because right. this is the movie of Yahweh Shai in in the spiritual realm. You know, in the spiritual world, the movie has he ha has been played out already. So we has we just have to wait for it to manifest on the physical level. You know, that's right. And um, you know, I'm gonna read verse twelve again, and I'm, I'm gonna get my point out. This mm -hmm. is uh, therefore, this is um, Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore, rejoice ye heaven and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he know that he had but a short time. All right. So now, like the brother said, we already got the victory through the Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know. And, and when you read 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, this is why the Lord is bringing the place. All right. So I, I, I left off at verse 5, and I'm going to read verse 6. All right. And this is, for wickedness had exceedingly flew the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore said the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. And what Esau is doing is, uh, 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 when he, he read, uh, he said, um, the brother brought out, he quoted the scripture, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. And that device going into that thought, the plans. All okay. right. So when it says what they wickedly exercise themselves, when you also go into, um, what is it, uh, Micah, Micah 2, what is it? one. Uh, one. Then, that, I'll nice grab it real quick. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll, get, I'll get it right real yeah. quick. You know, and it says, um, Michael 2 and 1, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. All right. Yeah. Showing you uh, that these are these are the plans. These are the things that they've been they, they've been coming up with together to keep our people down. And if not, to destroy our people, man, to uproot us out the earth. All right. But the Lord said otherwise. He said he's not going to hold his tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Read it again, um, Second Ezra uh, 15 and 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Mm -hmm. All right? RFID microchip, which, that is, which is the mark of the beast, is a wicked, uh, it's a wicked thing. All right? That's, that's wicked. Device. That's a wicked device. All right? What is it, uh, uh, vaccinations, pushing the vaccinations on uh, uh, and saying that this world can't go back to normal unless everyone is vaccinated. That's a wicked device. All right. So the Lord's doing something. And then continue on. It says, behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. And what are we doing? It says uh, when you read Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, uh, mark them that sign that cry for the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. All right. Because the, 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 this, this, the, the elect is out here signing and crying of this wickedness that's going on and how much we can't we can't take it no more. All right. So the Lord is going to he's 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 doing he's doing these things uh, on behalf of his elect. All right. Oh. It says, um, and then continue on. It says, and, and therefore, said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. All right. So the Lord is doing something. And as you see, once again, we brought out the article of. The lightning strikes, all right, which is plaguing India, all right. 
we also talking about we also gonna go into to to this blue bonnet plague. All right. So I'm gonna grab real quick. Because this is a, this is this is what the Lord is bringing to the earth. All right. Uh -huh. This is um this is from the New York Times. This is bubonic plague found in a herder in Inner Mongolia, China says. All right. So now it started off with two two people, a male and a female in, in, in a city cove in, in, in uh western of Mongolia, and they uh, they obtained or abstract this, this this plague by eating a marmot, right? So now which is eroded, now is being pushed into China. Right? Yeah. If I mean, mm -hmm. mean uh, the bubonic plagues, that was a, uh, that's an ancient uh, uh, plagues, you know, which, which mm -hmm. took it around Europe in the 1700s, the 1700s, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, that's from the 1700s uh, to the 1700s. Uh, coincidence, it's like, mm -hmm. was it? No, no, I was saying, it says from the 1300s to the 1700s. That's what, it, that's what it was on, the, on the website. Come on, come on. So yeah, so these these are not by coincidence. These are these are, are, are by design. Mm -hmm. Is the Lord pretty much uh, 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 have everything on lockdown, man? You know, mm -hmm. Isaiah 40, uh, 46 and ten that the Lord declared the end from the beginning. So mm -hmm. all these things are uh, uh, just like Esau, you know, pretty much uh, wants to uh, have an agenda on the on the left hand side. Guess what? How about Shem Shai? Also has an, has an agenda on the on the right hand side, man. You know, yes, pretty much is doing exactly what the Lord wants him to do. You know, mm -hmm. Con, in the, this is from the New York Times. Bubonic plague found that heard it in 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 the China says, All right? And it reads, so like this, it heard in the Chinese region in Mongolia was confirmed and with with bubonic. Health officials says a, rem, a reminder of how even as the world the world battles a pandemic caused by a novel virus, old threats remain. So showing you that what we're talking about the, the novel virus, which is the coronavirus. All right. Mm -hmm. And I was saying old threats remain. So there's still you have this uh the bubonic plague that's 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 here now. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, like, what there was another article I read that said that that the bubonic plague hasn't altogether been gone away they still had pockets of it in certain areas all right so, but now you've seen it starting to reoccur all right that's why they considered it a, a big threat all right and this is an old threat remains the bayonne city health commission said the plague was diagnosed in a herdsman on sunday and he was in the in stable condition undergoing treatment at a hospital all right and it says the commission also issue a third level alert the second lowest in the four level system it says warning people against hunting, eating, and transport transporting potentially of infected animals, particularly marmots, to report any dead or diseased rodents. So that's how you catch that uh, uh, um, the, the the plague, that bubonic plague. Bubonic all right, is by is by either eating because that's what happened with those two individuals. They ate uh, marmot. Marmot meat, you know, which they end up getting uh, the the plague from, or if a flea bites them and then bites a human being, that's how it's trans uh, transmitted, that's you right. know. But once again, look what's happening, man. It's coming onto the, it's coming these pestilence is coming fast, man. And it's gonna be where it, it's gonna be more than one happening at at, at 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 um at one time. All right, it's all gonna be uh simultaneously as as it says, and um. One second, let me just look something up real quick. Yeah, if I may, I do. It's only the, uh, six months within a year, man. It's only half, uh, half a year, yeah, as you can see, man. Hey, these are uh, these are uh, uh, calamities. They are uh, uh, unraveling, you know. They pretty much uh, 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 catching people by surprise. You know, that's the Lord who's doing it. The Lord wants your your attention. He wants you to. Mm -hmm. He, 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 that's what this says. Uh, on the Lord will come as a as a thief in the night when you're not picking when you, when you're not paying attention when you mm -hmm. think it's all good because right now it hey guys is cheap you know people think oh this is this is gonna this is just a, a normal wave you know it's gonna go back you know everything gonna go, go back to normal this pretty much this is uh pretty much the mind frame of the vast majority of the people of the people but they don't you don't know man hey hey things are, are are not gonna go back to normal it's only gonna get mm -hmm. worse. Con, con. I got 
this uh, article real quick, just to, just to show you how multiple uh, uh, uh multiple so Let me just click this off. Now, uh, multiple uh, pestilences is is, is is here. It's all right. It says it read. This is from Smith 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 All right, and it says new swine flu strain with pandemic potential isn't cause for alarm. All right. So what's yeah, that? It's talking about a swine flu. I mean, right? It's just a, it's not cause for alarm, right? You pretty much mm -hmm. you want your people to be, to stay asleep. You don't want you to yep. work. He wants to uh, pretty much control the narratives. You know, he's pretty much uh, letting you know that he has he has it under control. But hey, that's that's what's gonna be a uh, uh, the, the destruction uh, 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 for you for for the, for the whole world because. The whole world uh, trust the super white man. The, you know the the coronavirus proved one thing that Esau had the whole world psychologically on lockdown, man. Whatever mm -hmm. Esau says, man, they they just run with it. They don't question it. They just run with it, man. That's why you see people running around, you know, of of uh, of a uh, 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 mask on, you know, what mask I'm saying? on, yeah, yeah, like like like, like sheep, man, because mm -hmm. they, they they don't do their own research, man, you know. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, and I also got another one. Right here, I'm gonna read it. This was uh, issued June 1st, 2020. All right, and it says, uh, this is from the, the, the World Health Organization, WHO. Uh, uh, international or dot INT. And it says, New Ebola outbreak detects in Northwest Democratic Republic of, of the Congo, whose surge mm. team supporting the responses. All right, mm. so. So I'm not I'm not gonna get into that, you know what I'm saying? Because you can go on you can go on for days, but it's showing you, man, it's 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 piling up, man. These plagues is piling up, and you know, right for so because this is this is what the Lord Yahweh Shah mentioned in, in the book of uh Matthew, which I'll grab right now. Oh. Right, just bear with me. Yeah. All right. Because he told us to look out for these things, man. That's how you know what the time that we're in. All right, mm -hmm. second measure is nine and uh nine and uh once that measured out the time Billy in itself. All right, so let me get this real quick, just bear with me. All right, and I'm um I'm gonna read verse three and I'm gonna jump down. Mm -hmm. This is um Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what you shall be? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, how shall we speak in parable? Because mm -hmm. it was meant for everybody. You know, that's why the disciples has to come to him privately so that Yahusha can give him the, the heads up, give him the, the, the what do you call it, the, the insight, you know? The insight, that's right. That's exactly what Can I get a, matter of fact, can I get a, a Matthew uh, 16, uh, uh, verse uh, verse 17, it says, blessed gotcha. are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. Matthew 16, 17. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh it, it it might be it might be before that though. Uh, it's in it's in the Matthew six in uh. My, let me see. Uh, so like. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, we can find it. Bear with me real quick. All right, take your time, no rush. Mm. You say Matthew. Yeah. 16. I mean, no, nah, no, nah, so like Matthew 13, 13, let's see. Right. Okay, 13. Yeah. So like, yeah. 13. Yeah, or 16. All right, this is Matthew 13 and uh, verse 16. It says, um, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So if you are able to understand what's taking place over the earth, and if you if you know that the Lord is the one behind it, guess what? That's it, it, it's, it's a blessing because mm -hmm. you know the, the insight, you know the, the 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 end game, you know, and the vast majority of the people they don't know what time it is, man. That's why it's a blessing, man. You know, that's right. 
Uh, so going back to Matthew 24 and 3, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the signs of thy coming in the end of the world? All right. And I'm going to jump down. And I'm going to read uh, uh, verse 7. And it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine and pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is this is a hint. And it's, it's it like once again, we read uh Habakkuk two and three. The vision is yet for an appointed time. But now going back to what you mentioned about the eyes, blessed your eyes for they see. All right. Because when it, uh when you go back, I'm gonna read uh Matthew 13 and 7 it says, For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you mm -hmm. see. All right, and have not seen them, and to hear those things that you hear and have not heard them. Yeah, All right. I mean, I do, right, bro? Mm -hmm. Because uh, the Lord does everything beautifully in its in its time. It wasn't time for the for the prophet of all to understand what they what they wrote about. But right mm -hmm. now, you know, to the spirit, Lord's world with those men. Guess what? We understand them. We understand them, uh, what what a uh, Habakkuk means when he says uh for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak in the light. So we know what, what John the Revelator talked about and when he says the Revelation 13 verse 16, you know, we know mm -hmm. these things. Why? Because hey, we're in them times, man. And how we shall give us the inside the the the, the 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 blueprint, you know, it gave us the, the, the knowledge and that's why we're able to to pretty much all rightly divide the, the word of truth, you know. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. Now I got one more article going into um What's happening in Georgia? All right, and it says, uh, this is from RT.com. It says, Georgia governor declares emergency and deployed National Guards as Atlanta violence skyrocket amidst Black, Black Lives Matter protests. All right, and it says, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp has ordered National Guards troop to deploy in Atlanta after rioters ransacked the police headquarters. Shooting in the cities have doubled in the wake of protests against police brutality. Some 1,000 soldiers will be deployed to protect the state capitol, the governor's mansion, and the Department of Public Safety building that was vandalized over the weekend, Kemp announced Monday. It reads, peaceful protests were hijacked by criminals with a dangerous, destructive agenda. Now innocent Georgian, uh, Georgians are being targeted, shot, and left for dead. Kemp said this lawlessness must be stopped and an order restored in our capital city. Hey, that's uh, all the all the, all the chaos, man. Mm -hmm. you know what that's that's exactly what it is. Now Jake is waking up. Now taking out taking down statue of these uh, uh, criminals. You know Christopher Columbus. You know mm -hmm. Jackson, Thomas Jefferson. You know what I'm saying these devils. He saw he saw he saw pretty much idolize these people. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So now they feel threatening. Now you know what I'm saying. Now now uh, uh, and that's what this place is. Habakkuk 2016. Yep, I get it for you. I got it. Glory. You know, Esau holds his men at a at a at a, at a, at a high regard, man. And mm -hmm. but but now it's coming out all the the the, the secret, the, the 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 atrocity that they have committed now. A hey, and that's why Esau felt uh, 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 threatening. That's why he's sending uh, national guard to uh, uh, pro, to pretty much uh, safeguard a uh, 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 state uh, monument. You know. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Yeah. This is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 16. It says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The, the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee and shameful spewings shall be on thy glory. All right. Yeah, shameful mm -hmm. spewing is on your glory because uh, everything that you have achieved is uh, based on the, is, is, uh, is a result of the destruction of the tribe, the so-called Black Hispanics and the Americans. And now all your track record is being made public. You can no longer uh, 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 pretty much uh, uh, trying to stay away from what your your forefathers have done, man. You know. That's right. Con, con. And I want to jump to uh to to further more go into this proving this point. All right. This is uh going back to Second Ezra fifteen, and I'm gonna read uh verse, I'm sorry, verse fourteen. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh." All right. The sword is also known as uh, 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 these troops, man. You know, this is a form of how Esau is going to unleash all hell, man, by these troops being set up, you know, uh, setting them in these cities, 
you know, when, 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 um, what was it? When George Floyd got uh, uh, murdered, you know, what they do, uh, and it was, um, those rioting and looting, that's what they do. They, 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 they put national guards in almost every city. All right. Because of what was taking place. So once again, going back to it, it says for the sword in their destruction draw off not, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. And that's what's happening. You know, Jake is taking matters into their own hands. And as you see, I'm going to read it again. It says, shooting in the city have doubled in the wake of protests against police brutality. So this is all caused by uh, 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 people waking up to the wickedness of these, uh, the police system, man. Police force, all right, and, and and now what they're doing, they they they're just they're just going, they're just running wild, man. They're just acting up, and as soon it's gonna be, it's gonna be way much worse because it's gonna get to the point where these troops are not gonna hold back. They're gonna have the green light to to, to kill anything that's is moving, all right. If they if they if they don't get in order, all right. This is like the brother mentioned, order out of chaos, you know. And also uh, continuing on, it says, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. So, yeah. hey, what do you think them troops are there for, man? Them troops is there to, to establish, uh, they're the muscle for Esau Eden, man. I mean, Esau Eden. That's what they are. They're the, they're the, they're the whipping stick. All right. And, and, and this is how they're going to come down, man. So that's why they're setting that up right now. You know, because because what's gonna happen is it goes on, time goes on. If this continues, all right, what, what's gonna happen is we're gonna be seeing Jake getting put to death, all right, by these troops, all right. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. And it, it's and it's uh it's inevitable, and that's the will of the Hawash and the man. For a two thirds, uh, must be uh put to death, man. And mm -hmm. you're is Esau pretty much to a to 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 fulfill as well, you know. Hey, Khan. Hey, that's 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 crazy too. Because when you have that that NFAC, the No Fuck Around Coalition, mm -hmm. right? It was taking place, I think, in, in Stone Mountain, Georgia. All right. So they're showing you that you know what I'm saying. Look, look, look how the, the National Guards was deployed out there. But then you have, you know, the 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 No Fuck Around Coalition, which that guy, uh, Grandmaster J, which is you know an agent. You know, he's out there pushing that 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 vibration. But now they're setting, they're putting, they're putting the troops in there, man. They're putting the troops around there. So it, it's nothing, it's, you know, it's, it's going to get ugly soon, man. It's going to get ugly, you know. But this is all the will of Yahweh Bashim Yashan. He said he's going to smite this place, man. And this is how this is how we know that this place is crumbling right in front of us, you know. And, and you know, we say, Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Yashan to that because when this world is over, we know there's, there's a new world coming, a new heaven and a new earth that's coming. That obtain righteousness, man. That why people will never have to suffer again. All right. Before we get to that point, we got to endure and go through these hard times that's coming. All right. Because it, it, it's necessary. Because the Lord said that it has to come. Um, go ahead. No, I was a uh, matter of fact. Let me bring this out. So uh, Acts mm -hmm. 14 and 22. Since you said that, back mm -hmm. you up real quick. Uh, <clears throat> um. Uh, Acts uh, chapter 14, uh, verse, uh, verse 22, and it reads, uh, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh mm -hmm. you, know, you got it. You got it. Nah, I can't, I can't. Go ahead, bro. I'm about to look up a word real quick. Yeah, so that's, that's what it is, man. Uh, like Karab just said, you know, uh, uh, these things, you know, they have they have to take place. You know, they have to take place. Esau has to uh, pretty much get loose. You know, come after the tribes because this is the last captivity. And mm -hmm. uh, the scripture says in Daniel twelve chapter, for there shall be a time of trouble such as never mm -hmm. was uh, mm -hmm. since there was a nation. So mm -hmm. the calamity, the trouble, gonna be uh, supersede. Whatever happened in the past, man, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why the Lord's gonna have to send uh Michael the Archangel to pretty much look after the elect. That's how bad and chaotic things are going to be, you know. That's right, Con. This is uh going into that word, uh, um, tribulation. Just give me a second, Strong's G 2347, Thalipsis. 
Philipsis. All right. And in, in, in the definition, it goes in to say a pressing, pressing together pressure. Mm -hmm. It's metaphor, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, and straits. All right. As the scripture says, into you at the straight gate. Yeah. All right. Which is a position of difficulty. So, you know, it's not going to be easy in, in, in the time to come. In the times that we're heading into, it's not it's not gonna be just a walk into the park, walk in the park, man. It's gonna be all hell breaking loose out here. But you know, with with the Lord, with you seeking your how about Shimmy Alshan, trying to doing your best to please Him, you know, by doing what He commanded us to do. Hey, we're hoping that we're part of the elect that we may be have may have mercy first and foremost, and that the Lord may save us in these times, you know, and watch over us. But this is why He said, through much tribulation, we're gonna enter the kingdom because. Me and this brother, we always have these conversations and we always say, man, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Okay. So the, 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 the journey is what's going to make you appreciate the, uh, the, 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 the destination, man, your stop, man. And that stop is the kingdom of heaven. So you're going to appreciate it more, you know, instead of it was just given to you. If you don't work hard for something, you don't count it as, you know, uh, it's not counted as, you know what I'm saying, uh, joyous. To, to that point because you didn't you didn't really have to go through anything to receive it but by us going through what we have to go through which is this uh straight way you know then then then, then the kingdom is going to be much we're going to appreciate appreciate the kingdom and we're going to give all glory to how about shimmy Shah, which is rightfully due all right but these are the times that we're coming into and once again this is all prophecy the lord is bringing these plagues and in in and and hey man we're what seven months in yeah, seven, seven months in, yep, into 2020, the year of prophecy. And guess what, man? We still got more to go. We got five months to go to end it off. And who knows what's going to happen within this five months? Who knows what's going to happen in 2021, you know? But hey, man, I don't want to rock this out. He cut the day short as he said he's going to do, and that, you know, he come back swiftly, man. You know? Uh, uh, right. con, con, con. So, with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. We want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Akakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, who has taught us this truth, and also peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. And with that, we say Shalom. Shalom. Abad Baba. Abad Baba. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. All right. Shalom.